Hey guys, this is Egg Twenty. I'm doing an Xbox 360 game collection again. Um, it's been quite a long time since I did another one, uh, last one, and I've gotten quite a few games. Sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you the games. This is going to be detailed, so it's gonna be part one of four, and you're gonna hear my TV in the background at least a little bit because I'm watching Walking Dead. Anyway. Yeah, okay, I can hear right now. Anyway, uh, comment down below if you want me to do another one of these. But it's all my special editions because I have quite a few. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna do special editions unless unless you ask me to. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and this will be detailed. So the first game I got is Deadpool, great hack and slash game. Uh, very funny. I think the only game that I've seen uh, betray a comic book character so well is Batman Arkham Asylum and City and Origins. Um, but mostly uh, Asylum because that's the one that really got the character seeped in. But yeah, Deadpool is hilarious. It has a lot of humor. Uh, a lot of dirty humor though. Next game we got is a sandbox game which is uh, Red Dead Redemption, a uh, great game, um, it's a sandbox game, of course, and so, um, I feel as though if you say this game is the Grand Theft Auto of the West, or, like, the Western Grand Theft Auto, that is offending it, because Grand Theft Auto is not a good game, it's just not, like, the graphics are good, yeah, it's a good, like, multiplayer game, but it's not a good game in general, and this game, I'll give it a uh, eight. People are getting it ten now tens. Mostly just because I haven't beat it yet. Um, I haven't beaten it yet. But what I have played yet is an eight out of ten. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, it comes with like a poster, but I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good poster. Um, so yeah. And then next game we got Plants vs Zombies. Uh, pretty little. It's a good little game. If you're playing with like a family member, or if you're playing uh, by yourself, it's it comes with two other games: Peggle and Zuma. Zuma, I'm sorry. Yeah, Zuma, uh, which are very fun games. I really like Peggle. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun game. They made a sequel. Uh, I don't know if the, I think it's only for iOS though, which is. Uh, uh, I've heard the sequel's uh, not as good as this one, sadly, but yeah, it's a pretty good game. Then, a game that I got practically with my Xbox is Reflex MX vs. ATV. Haven't played this game, can't say a lot about it. Uh, now we have Movie License Game. Yeah. Um, Monsters vs. Aliens. Not a good game. Um, I don't remember a lot of it, but I just remember I hate it. Uh, we gotta get into good games. Come on, second, guys. Well, we might. Oh, okay. Um, next game we have Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. It's a pretty good game. I actually really like this. It's the only Mortal Kombat I've ever played. And, um, I really liked it. This is what kind of... I wouldn't say it got me into Mortal Kombat series because I haven't played any more, but I really like this game. It's a really good game. You guys should try out. Uh, a lot of people say it's stupid and it's horrible, but it's not. And if you buy it from Walmart, it gives you this awesome, like, little book with Sub-Zero in it. So, yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's a good fine game. One of the only good, one of the only fine games I like. Next game, we have Batman, Lego Batman 2, DC Superheroes. Uh, lately, Lego games have not been good. Lord of the Rings, bad. Lego Batman 2, bad. Um, those are the two that I can think of. I know there's more. Uh, Lego Star Wars 3, bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's a fun little game, but it's not a good game. Uh, it, well, I guess it is a good game, but for a Lego game, I feel as though they should have done more. It's not a good 
Lego game, but it's a good game. I don't know how I can actually explain that more. And then Lego Batman, the good Lego Batman. Um, so yeah, it's a really good game. Uh, I really liked it. Some of the levels get a little repetitive, and that's one of the reasons why some of the newer Lego games are pretty aren't as good because they're really repetitive. But this one didn't have that much. You could play as the villains or the good guys, which I really liked. Why haven't any more games done that? But yeah, and then we have Lego uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I'm not that big of a Pirates fan. Like I am. But, then again, I'm not that big into it. So, can't really say that much. But, um, I have seen all three of them. Not, well, I've seen three or four of them. Uh, this is a pretty good one. But, it's one of those games. It's a good game. But, I feel as though it got a little rushed. Out the door. I don't know. Um, we have Bionicle Heroes. Don't remember this game at all. I got it when I was little, little, little. I remember I liked it for the longest time, but, I don't know. Sorry, I said this would be detailed, but I haven't gotten into a lot of games that aren't detailed. That I can go into detail on. Anyway, I got Lego Rock Band. It's a very good game. Rock Band is my favorite singing game. And now, this is probably my favorite singing game. Because I'm, uh, I can't think. Um, it's a good game. Yeah. What did I just do that? I just kind of zoned out. Um. Yeah. It's a really good game. You should get. It's one of those Xbox 360 family games. I don't know why they still put that on. Oh, there goes all the games. That's a swoosh. Anyway. Um. Well, I have a lot of Lego games. A lot more than I. I have played the new Lego Marvel game. It is magnificent. It goes along. It has the same style as the older Lego games, which I like. Harry Potter, pretty good, yeah. It is one of those things. The Lego games don't have. You can't really say that much on them because they're based off of like movies or other games. They're really, this one's a really good game, though. I really like it. Um, so, yeah. You should definitely try it out, uh, especially if you like the Harry Potter movies. Um, but yeah, here's another one: uh, Lego Star Wars Three. This is doing the Clone Wars, which I uh, I stopped being a fan after season. That's like five seasons. Season I think two. After season two, I was not that big of a fan. I used to watch this with my dad uh, a lot. So, uh, just what they did with the game. I guess I was looking at my TV. This is just not a good game. Not a good Lego game. Uh, let's see how many Lego. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's an original. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm almost at the end of the pile, guys. That's a surprise. Uh. Anyway. Um, Lego Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, the first one. I thought that was Lego Batman first. I don't know what? Anyway, um, see, so yeah, Lego Harry Potter. Really good game. Really good game. Really good game. Um, it got a little annoying, and it was one of those games that, ooh, Lego games, it was actually tr pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. And then, I did this when I was, like, five, so don't judge me. Um, Lego... Indiana Jones is my favorite Lego game. The first one, of course. Um, this one's my favorite Lego game of all time. Um, I'm an Indiana Jones fan. And people judge me about this. I don't know why. But my favorite Indiana Jones movie is Temple of Doom. I don't know why everybody doesn't like that one. But it's my favorite. And now on the other side, because I was like five Indiana Jones too. I tried to copy it with the LucasArts thing and T. TT games and everyone 10 plus. Yeah. I had a little. I had a little colorful mind. Did I just call myself gay? I think I just did. Not what I meant. Not what I meant. 
Anyway, Kung Fu Panda. A pretty fun game, actually. Uh, it's one of the better, one of the better movie license games. Really good movie license game. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think it was actually a. Uh, it, it like it followed up to the movies, but I don't think it ever like it followed the movie. But I never think it ever actually did the exact same thing. But you, it was the same objective. Um, and then I have Ice Age. I played 15 minutes of it. Did not like it. Don't have much to say. And then two of the bear games on here is Halo Reach. Very good Halo game. You can customize your armor. You can customize your weapons. It was a really good game. Um, people say the campaign wasn't that good. It, or it just was super long. Yeah, it was super long, but that's what made it good. Uh, spoiler alert. Everybody dies! Every one of your crew, except John, but everyone dies! Let somebody live! But still very good. <laughs> um, I have most of the achievements on here, which I'm surprised about. And then Hitman. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a pretty good game. It's a lot better than Bloody Money. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good game. Um... You get to customize your weapons, and you get to have disguises. And I remember one of my favorite disguises was the chipmunk costume. That was my favorite disguise. It was just hilarious. And you can make your own targets and maps, and it was really cool. That It had somewhat of a multiplayer experience. It was a really good multiplayer experience, but it wasn't um, the one that you guys were expecting, which I was actually kind of surprised about. But anyway... Uh, that's part one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.